Hey everybody, OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here, and uh, just catching up with you again, and I thought we'd have a nice little discussion on the value of Hi-Fi and its experience, comparatively speaking, to other things that are luxury products that are purchased for enjoyment, okay? So clearly Hi-Fi is not a need item, okay? Many of the things we buy are not need items. What I want to do in this discussion is compare Hi-Fi to other things that are luxury products, that are high-performance products, and let's just compare the amount of enjoyment that you get back from some of these things. Because the reason I bring this up is a lot of people, like, you know, for instance, there'd be somebody recently, they have a Hi-Fi system that's over $100,000, and they're a vinyl person they're they're an analog guy who has vinyl stuff and he hears about a twenty four thousand dollar DAC and he's like oh I wouldn't spend how could you spend twenty four thousand dollars on a DAC and it's like it's almost ridiculous because the guy's one hundred and fifty thousand maybe even more maybe it's like two hundred thousand it's a very expensive rig and uh, to bulk over twenty four k for a DAC that is going to sound better than vinyl. Um, arguably at for sure as good okay and in my opinion better um it's just kind of like i think maybe we need to go through this and there's people like how could you even spend ten thousand on a DAC okay now the first thing we want to presume for this discussion is that you have the means okay if you don't this person clearly has the means to buy that and it's no big deal it doesn't mean anything it's not going to hurt his wallet or whatever, right? So let's assume you have the means to purchase high quality hi-fi, okay? What I'm trying to do is compare it so that we can have a little rationale because it seems like some people have a hard time getting their head around how to rationalize a purchase like that, okay? So let's take some things into consideration let's look at other things that you can purchase that cost a lot that other people that have the means will purchase that are you know other other things okay this is all about things which it's a whole discussion for another time about the importance of things and what they really mean um they sure kind of make things they make life fun for us while we're here but in the end they really don't mean anything but we'll assume they do. Let's look at the enjoyment of, of, of things, okay? So we can take a car, for instance, a Ferrari, okay? You buy a Ferrari, um, La Ferrari, okay? And, or we could use, we could insert a Pagani. We could insert any high-performance $300,000 car plus whatever, okay? Um Can you use, you know, you, you want a high-performance vehicle. You want to be able to use it to its high performance level, right? You buy a Porsche GT3, GT2, you take it on the track, wow, you're really living. You're, you're, you're limited by how well you can drive, but and, and, and you're probably not going to even drive it close to what it can possibly do. But if you're on the street with that thing, you're absolutely not going to be driving it near what its performance level is. Okay, if you go buy a set of Ping golf clubs or Titleist or Callaway, whatever your favorite brand is, you get the best ones out there. Okay, you spend a lot of money on those things. Is are you going to use them to their level of performance when you go out there? Does it are you going to be entitled to the performance that those clubs can provide? Um, you know. Then you look at hi-fi, and no matter what, when you buy a high-end audio rig and it's put together by a system builder that knows what they're doing, and you go in to listen to it, you are going to be listening to that piece, that thing, that piece of gear, at 100% of what it can do every time you go in there. Every time you go into your listening room, you turn it on, you're going to get 100% of that level of its of how good it is is going to be bam right there we'll go back to the car you you're not entitled to the performance that the ferrari can offer the porsche or whatever just by buying it you're going to have to get it on a track you're going to have to have special 
tuning. You're going to have to take class and, 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 and practice. You buy a Les Paul custom beautiful guitar. You're not going to be able to use it to its maximum potential even close unless you're a virtuoso guitar player. Uh, but if you're just a regular guy, you can't buy a killer electric guitar and play guitar. You can't as a regular guy, just go buy golf clubs and be a killer golfer. But you can be a regular guy and spend money on hi-fi and get 100% of the performance of the hi-fi when you're listening to it, no matter what. Doesn't matter about traffic, doesn't matter about practice, you don't have to practice, all that kind of stuff. You are gonna get 100% of the listening experience. And let's think about that experience. How valuable is that experience? What do you get from that experience? purchase? What will it give you? Well, for people that are into music, listening to music is a healing process. It heals. You can be upset. You come in and listen to music, you feel better. It is a healing. You can laugh at things. You can become scared. You can, I mean, there's all sorts of different things you can feel. It's a very immersive experience. And it is takes you on a journey. And you can truly go on that journey every time you listen to a well-built hi-fi rig. We look at comparative things. Collectibles. Baseball cards, for instance. What can you do with that thing? You can look at it. You can hold it and look at it. It doesn't do anything at all. You just look at it. It's like buying a stereo and just looking at it, okay? Um, you get a, a, a car and you, you, know, you buy yourself a killer 200 mile an hour car that's all muscle and it's gorgeous and it's wicked track car. And you go drive it on the freeway in rush hour and you're going 15 miles an hour, Toyota Celica right next to you. You guys are neck and neck. There's no way to use that. You are now completely compromised in your car and unless you have a killer hi-fi system, <laughs> the experience in there, you're not going to be anywhere. It, what is it going to really give you? It's still going to give you exasperation because you're sitting in traffic, okay? When you go to your hi-fi rig and you sit down, you're going to listen to music. And when it sounds so real that you have no choice but to be thrust into the connection with that music, there, that's priceless to me, okay? It may not be priceless to all, but for me, it's absolutely priceless. And I don't think there's anything that you can pay the price of admission and get 100% of its performance immediately at the highest level just from turning the thing on with zero practice, anything. You don't need any practice, no time. It's not subject to different times of the day. Whatever time you come in there and you listen to your hi-fi rig, it's going to give you the goods. It's going to give you the business. So I wanted to point that out because I think it's something unique. I think the return on investment with hi-fi is much greater than other things you can buy. Um, people buy for different reasons. I'm talking about what experience it gives you back from and and what function does it provide okay somebody might get super big experience from showing off something okay that's not me i don't get that maybe a little bit okay <laughs> but if you have a baseball card or if you have a collectible antique or something like that look at this thing that was made by whatever it's you know this old and all that kind of stuff okay cool what does it do well you just look at it you just set it there and you look at it and it gives you ego to know i own that thing and it's mine and it's right here and we can pick it up and look at it whenever we want to but it doesn't do anything it just sits there being a thing okay whereas hi-fi gives you it heals you it gives you something back and I don't think there is a price that can be put on the, the, the food that your soul gets from listening to hi-fi. So that's just a little something to ponder when we ponder this whole deal. Because I know for a lot of people, it's a lot to stomach. They're like, well, why would I do that? Why would I spend that much 
on a hi-fi system, well, I would say come and listen here and see what it's like. Go to a friend's house that has a, a, an extremely well-built rig that's put together well and listen to it and you will know what it's all about. You receive something. It gives back to you every time you listen to it. So I wanted to make that point. I thought it was a good point to make and we can discuss it. Feel free to leave any of your comments. All right, see you.